I'm Z, and welcome to My Father Lied. The demo to the game, actually. Why am I playing the demo to this game? Uh, I think I should start with that while, uh, while I still have the time to talk about it. I was recommended this game by the developers, and, you know, I don't see why I'd pass that opportunity up to just play something someone recommended. Uh, considering that it's also a demo, so it probably won't be very long, I might as well, you know? So, let's just get into it. New game. I know this is a puzzle game, I believe. I don't know much about it. But I think I do know that. I think I do know it's a puzzle game. It's been a while since I played a puzzle game, that's for sure. I don't know how... How... Well I'll do. But I know I'll be able to at least do something, I think. My puzzle skills aren't that bad. Is the game working? Oh, oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah it is. Okay, because I was going to say it's just a black screen. Click and drag to look around. Click the arrow to move. Oh, that's... A really interesting way of making... Point and click puzzle games because you have the typical you know oh hey you want to move somewhere click on this door click on this edge of the screen click on that arrow right but then you also have the uh 3d environment in which you can look around i that i don't think i've seen that before why is there a tunnel under this place that's a good question also where are we is this like uh is this like mad father kind of stuff where it's like daddy's got a little secret that sounds odd doesn't it anyways um, okay. Click on the magnifying glass icon to investigate. How do I uninvestigate? Locked. Lock. Something is missing. Why is acting? That is uh, unexpected. Click on the door icon to enter. Oh, so you still have the typical, like, oh, door type of stuff. Uh, sure. Oh. I clicked on the door, and I'm, I've got like a 50-50 chance of either the game crashed because the music stopped, or it's loading. I don't know which one it is. It was loading. What's that, huh? Now, side note here, and I don't mean to criticize too much, but if that's on all, like, versions of the game, all PCs, all everything, pretty bad loading times could use optimization that really does distract from the actual immersion of the game um if it's on my end only then yeah that's completely okay okay we have a map of a country i do not know because i don't know geography yes yeah, sue me curse me if you want i'm not knowledgeable enough is this some military post <sighs> Yes. Yes, it is. Actually. Hold on. I... I may be stupid. But am I that stupid? I'm gonna check this on my phone. Um... So... Nope, I'm just stupid. I don't know where this place is. But hey, that's completely fine, probably, right? Wait, never mind. It is. I'm not that stupid. I'm not that stupid. This is Istanbul, isn't it? This looks like Istanbul. It's... Think. I may just be stupid, but... Hey, you just never know. So we've got lockers. Locked. Hey, get it? Because they're lockers. We have guns. Uh, No magazine on the AK. And there is a magazine on the... It's not a Springfield. That's not a... The magazine on the lower side is a weird thing to see. I don't know what gun that is. Something's missing. Yeah, there is supposed to be something here. I think space for a pistol, judging by the fact that there's a little peg here missing and 
the space in between them would probably fit a pistol or like a knife or something, a dagger. Uh, we've got this as well, which is a safe. We've got a code that we gotta crack. And then we've got, you know, a corpse. Good thing I'm used to this. Are, are we now? Suicide? There was a blood splatter there, and there was blood sticking from the skull onto the painting. So, yes, very possible. Very possible. All right, there's a gun. No, I think it's because I need to put it back in its place. It needs a key. This doesn't, though. This has... I can barely read this. Oh, my God. And also because it's in another language, right? But, like... Besides the fact that it's in another language, I can barely read the engraving on this, because, like, it's... I get it, it's supposed to be a piece of paper. It doesn't look like a piece of paper. It looks like a slab of stone. Pretty sure we'll need that. Oh, thanks for that. Kadim's locker is on the right. Samir's is in the middle. Leonardo da Vinci is rolling in his grave. Where my love is, when Samir was born twice. Kadim's locker equals something. There's a drawing of an open safe with a skull inside of it. Kadim's locker is on the right, this one. Samir's is in the middle. Leonardo da Vinci is rolling in his grave. Where my love is, when Samir was born. Twice. Kadim's locker is something. Alright, that is a bit of a question mark. Oh, I clicked back and the game has frozen. Again, I don't know if this is on my end. Oh no, it was introducing a new system. Introducing new systems really seems to lag the game, I don't know why. Click on the notebook icon to check your notes. Click on the bag icon to check your inventory. Click on the icons again to close them. Thank you. So, now I should check what this is. We've got a piece of paper that reads, To my wife, HH. Something. HH Ind. My memory is tainted. I, was sh I wasn't sure I was married. But your picture in my pocket and your letter before my deployment were the only things left from the outside world. Don't worry. We will defeat the invaders. The scientists and leaders are working hard. But I don't remember what they do. I don't remember what they told me. Or if they told me anything, except to, guard, except to guard the place from intruders. I isolated myself here because I don't remember the two officers who were with me. But I have also a picture of myself with them. Something made me forget. Maybe it's the thing that they're working on, whatever it is. I'm willing to sacrifice. Forgive me if my message is short. I have a severe headache. Every day it becomes worse, and I can't bear it. As if something is pushing from inside. I hope I find, I hope I find a way... To stop the headache. It says too fine, but same thing. With love, a deal. Okay. And then we have Kadim, a close friend. Heavy smoker is in the picture. Born in December. Samir. Met him recently. Always loses his phone. Asks a lot of questions. Born in July. Never forget who you are. A deal. Alrighty then, and then we've got like this circled zone here. A map of Iraq. Oh, it's Iraq, my country. It's not Istanbul. Oh yeah, it is Iraq actually, now that I look at it. Well, I mean, I looked at it before, I can figure it out, so I'm just stupid, but... Yeah, item gun. Yes, can we put that back? Would that do something? Something's missing. Yeah, I know, the gun. No, you don't want to put the gun back? Okay, yeah, not, not that it would solve something. I'm pretty sure we're not in, like, some Barrow's tomb where, like, putting the gun back would be like, oh, yes, you've solved it. You've cracked it. Okay. Note-wise, we don't have much. Wait, where my love is. When Samir was born twice, Kadim's locker is something. Hold on. Samir's is in the middle, 10, Kadim's locker is on the right, something. Uh, 
and 10 and 6. That's definitely for the code, but I don't know what it wants, so... Do we do just... We don't have a 0. 16, 16 does not work. Why do we not have a 0? Hmm. Mine is a number 1? That looks like it's just been erased. I don't think that's it. Where my love is. And Samir was born. My love. I mean, this looks like a heart. Three. Three, ten, six. But I don't have a zero. Where Samir was born twice. That's... That would be... Twenty? Or wait, where Samir was born... When Samir was born. When was Samir born? Uh, I'm stupid. Hold on, because we've got that note. Samir. Born in July. Okay. So then... Hold on, let me count which one July is. Um... July... Would be... The fifth month? No. So stupid. Not the fifth month, it's the seventh month. Right. So 1776? Then? No. Wait, sorry, 3776. Maybe Kadim's locker equals something is maybe upside down, so 3779. Yes, okay. Got a little peg. Got a valve, too, which has lag in the game, but okay. Hangs up. Hook. Okay. Thanks for that. Put that back. And the gun. Okay. Oh my god, it actually is like a... Power's Tomb-style shit. Where it's just like, oh yes, put all the guns back in place, and you shall get the secret valve? I mean, why do we need valves, and why is the game stuck again? What's it doing? I think I can open that gate outside. Do we think that now? Do we? Okay, real little time to actually get out again. One... Two... Okay. The game seems to freeze a lot, and I'm not certain that's just on my end, but let's hope it is. It's really breaking my immersion. I'm, I'm trying to get invested in this, and I'm, I'm kinda, you know, it's interesting, I'm not gonna lie. But, I have to look at a frozen game every now and then. It does sort of ruin it. Got a cell phone, and... We've got buttons. I don't know what I do with the buttons, but okay. And we've also got keys. Thank you. Okay, this is very weird, because sometimes I just press buttons and it freezes. I don't understand why. Oh, it's trying to... So when it does something, adds an item, adds a new system, it freezes for some reason. It's weird. You got anything? Poor guy. You don't say. Guess why he's dead. Okay, we also got a generator. To connect the wire. So do it then. Those are some very weak pulls. Some very weak pulls, and I, I mean it, because that is not how... Pull with a little bit more strength. Pull with a little bit more momentum when you're trying to start a generator, right? I think it works now. Oh, do you? 
Yeah, I heard heard it whirring and all that, so I, I, I also think it works. We have a different issue, though. We have a key for a drawer. Ah, yes, I had forgotten about it. This specific room has a music, some music that I do like. Right? Oh, I gotta do this. And here it says, Samir, you moron, your password is a Grek old. Got it? You're actually going to make me... Hmm. That is not a fun thing to have to do. I know, I knew why the phone was on the ground, believe you me. I was fully aware of why the phone was on the ground. I was dreading the fact that I'd have to do it, though. It wants me to take the phone on the ground. And look at how I would spell Grec, whatever it was. So, let me get a pen and paper, which I know I have nearby. There we go. Paper, and that's the pen. Let me try figuring this shit out, because this is not going to be something I can just remember off the top of my head. Alright, so we're going to have... That's a 4. Where's the R? R is down there. That's 777. E is 3-3. C is 2-2-2. Two, two, two. And it was Greg what? Old. Right. Zero is a space bar, so we'll do that. And old would be 666. Uh, 555. And three. That is a long ass code. And I know that's what you want me to do. So, we got 477. Seven, seven, three, three. Oh, you want me to only take the first... Alright, so then we're gonna take one of each instead of all of them. Like you would actually write it. 4, 7, 3, 2. 0. Why is the numpad like this, bro? Who has a numpad that goes from bottom to up like that on two columns? I just noticed. 5... No, uh, 6, 5... Three. I guess we don't include the zero, which is a space bar, but okay. It's literally part of it, but... You know, I guess it's not. Okay. The door has opened. Or actually, the gate. Because this is a gate, not a door. Let's make a distinction and not be biased towards gates and doors. They both respect their they they both deserve their own respect and both have their specific uses. Um okay, we're just gonna leave those guys and we're gonna go here. Wherever here is. Watch me enter like a facility that's like super high tech and everything and just completely clean compared to this ancient tomb that I've been in so far. Watch me, I I mean it takes a while, but watch me. I'm a bit slow. I'm a bit sluggish. Really, it takes a while to lift a curtain. I... Kinda? I what is this place? It's not a high-tech facility. It's more like a museum of kinds, but... Alright. We've got a new set of puzzles. We've got a door that says staff only. What is happening here? Well, staff would know. Oh, we've got four sets of locks? I'll have to start over. Yeah, no wonder. Page one. Oh, my God. You want me to read all that? Okay, page one. Today is March 12th. In the year of the Lord, 1835. We arrive aboard the Greek... Not the Greece. The George Can... Aboard the George Canning's ship? With all the materials needed to build our steamboats for our expedition along the Euphrates River. I do not know how long we will stay here, but I believe that we will be able to secure a new route that will take us to India through the waterway from An Anatolia. 
without the trouble of crossing through the southern coast of Africa. But in order to ensure that the king, that King William IV's land would remain safe from Russian expansion, preventing and in dot not capitalized A, and in order to ensure William IV's land would remain safe from Russian expedition ex expansion, preventing any threat to British rule in India. Sorry, but since this sentence ended here, this entire thing is so grammatically correct that I can, I can just about make out what it's trying to say. Page two, with the blessing of our ally, the Sultan, and after a year of preparation, we start started our journey with, no, from Anatolia on the sixteenth day of March, the day I was born, in order to immortalize this day with success of our the success of our expedition so that people may not forget the one who discovered the shortest way to India. Never deal with the Sultan. Greedy people. Page 3. The day started with a good weather and full of promises. Then it ended with disaster. A storm and heavy rain fell upon us. We barely saved ourselves, but we lost the other boat. We found some survivors, and when we reached the city of Anna, I ordered the survivors to go home, since we could not afford to pay them after such a loss. We stayed in Anna for historical research. Our Arabic-speaking companion from Anatolia says that people here are very happy. I have never had such hospitality before, and noticed that there is some sensitivity between northerners and southerners, and it is said that it is, this is due to religious reason, reasons. But after I listened to what the people on the streets say, it seemed to me it was more a political reason than a religious one. Page five, why is page 5 and 6 a completely different type of font and way of typing In inconsistency inconsistency page five a strange thing happened for some reason also why are the pages numered like zero five zero six that's weird just put five because we're not getting to page 10 so really doesn't matter a strange thing happened for some reason after we set off from anna i forgot one of my crew members my friend ainsworth back in the port i don't know how it happened not only he, not only is he my friend, and it says he is my friend, but also a surgeon and a ge geologist. A surgeon and a geologist? How do you become both of those? That seems like a genius to me, but, you know. That is to say, he is one of the most important people on this journey, after me. Oh, of course, because we gotta put ourselves first and foremost. Because I'm the captain, I think. He had to walk for two days to catch up with us. We had to stop on the banks due to an engine failure. Meanwhile, we found ourselves surrounded by half-naked people. The interpreter spoke to them for a while, and they told us that we were not welcome. They seemed sick, and their limbs were very small. When I asked my interpreter, they did not accept us. Why did they, not, they did not accept us? He said simply that this region is cursed, and whoever stays here for too long, Ira, the translator does not know what this word means, will take years from your life. He will take your health. He will take your sanity. I saw one of them pointing to a deformity on his face. Not even Ainsworth knew what caused it. We were so disgusted by what we were seeing. Some of them even vomited in front of us. The interpreter told us that at the end of that, we must leave the place, or else we will not be able to leave like them. Uh, or else you will not be able to leave like them. We made our way to the sea. I told Ainsworth to change what he wrote about these people. To only say that we had met little people in the marshes, not wanting to lose the support of our our funding officials, who most of them are superstitious. What does this help me with? Francis Chesney. Never read about them. His notes paved the way for the events that will save our country and guarantee peace for its people. From the memories of Francis Chesney, during his travels, the Euphrates wrote. Okay. We've got Mesopotamia, 1000 BC. That's when two rivers merged for the first time, creating a single river, the Shat al Arab. I can't click on it anymore. Mesopotamia, 1500 BC. Or 1500 BC. Well, looks like it was flooded quite a bit. Um, I didn't. Did I click on the arrow? I didn't feel like I clicked on the arrow, but okay. What would this be? An a siren obelisk. 
Syrian obelisk. What is it doing here? Obelisk found in 1865 in Nineveh. 825 BC. Translation. 1. Shalmaneser. Shalmaneser the third. 2. Great king, strong king, king of the world, king of Isara. Okay, builder of peace. So that's just a lot of titles. Whoever does not testify, believe, or change my obelisk, or destroy my name, write his name, bury it with dirt, throw it with water, may the god en Enlil Adad, and the king of the country, pluck his offspring, maybe, and his army not stand before the king facing him. May the god Nurgle seize by sweeping force his treasures and the treasures of his country. May the god Ishtar, the mistress of battle, sweep away his weapons and weapons of his army. May the god Ashur... My personal god be lurking in evil for him forever. This obelisk may be one of the oldest historical record people called Arabs. Okay. Uh, so far, nothing's helping us. That's Gertrude Bell. Alright, I want to say. Miss Gertrude Bell, adventurer, explorer, archaeologist, spy. She drew the Iraqi borders. She was born on July 14th, 1868. Into a wealthy family in Washington, New Hall, England, currently known as Dime Margaret. Mar Margaret. She died on July 12, 19. That's comma there, not dot. A period. 12, 1926. From an overdose of sleeping pills. Maybe it was suicide or assassination. Who knows and how does it help me? And this is Mesopotamia 2500 BC, Mesopotamia 3500 BC. Why do I need pictures of Mesopotamia? Why do I need any of this, actually? Translation of a German letter from 1575. Dear Leonhardt, I have been informed through the two exporters in Tripoli that you have left a Baghdad in order to treat patients in a village in the south. Say you found them disfigured with disfigured skin and hallucinating. I know you aspire to be noble, but what they describe to me is a waste of time. What you see there might be some kind of plague that you can do nothing about, but you can still do what I sent you for, and it is to find herbs and medicines for our company. I beg you to return to Baghdad and Mosul, for you will not be able to cure what they call there. As I have been told by my friends in Tripoli, the curse of the ancient masters of the land. The north is safer for you than the south in the kingdom of the Ottomans. Your sincere friend, Melchior, director of Manalik Pharmaceutical Company. Well then. And here we've got a note. Melchior, Chenzny, Bell, Obelisk Plus, Chat Al Arab. Thank you, Dr. Louis, for the advice. We won't forget. Melchior is for first, so that's what we're gonna be going with. Melchior 1575, that is our first code. This is how they all connect, and this is how I shall connect them. 1575. Oh, oh, I gotta do them all in order. Oh, that sucks. Okay. 1575 is the first one. I'll write them down. Because it moved me to the next one. Uh, next we have Chensney, which is over here, I think, right? No, Gertrude Bell. Uh, Chensney is not over here. It is over here. Right? Now look at this picture. Yeah. So, what do I need to take from his story? So we've got a few possible ones. 1835. 1835, is that what you want me to note down? Okay. We've got Bell, dead. A date of assassination? Yes. So we've got two possible ones. 1868, probably dead, refers to 1926. And then, obelisk plus Shat al Arab. Obelisk. Obelisk, we've got 1865. Uh, 
825 BC as well. Al Arab, where did I read that? I read that somewhere. Uh, having considered the suffering of our Arabi allies, Shalmester, he is me, conquered her as evil. The effect healed Ira, the god of plague, who was hidden under the sea in the past, now under the stands of the present. Light of suffocation, a testament to the power of Shalmester. Okay. And a testament to his friendship with Shalmester, who is me, the friend. Ship of King of Al Arabi. Who is Jambu? His name is Jambu Grasshopper. Okay. Um. Where did I read about Arab? You know, I read that name somewhere. It was technically in that document too, but. Sure, where I read about Al Arabia. Of course, it's locked. That phone, yeah, okay. We got a few possible. We could technically brute force this. Oh, we, have, we haven't looked at this. The artifacts in the lower shelves are from the Syrian era, but I don't recognize the ones on top. What are they? I don't know, because I can't really see them. That's a bit of an issue, isn't it? Obelisk plus Shat al-Arab. Where did I read Shat al-Arab? Because I know I read it. I recognize it, right? But... I don't recognize where I read it. It was in his stories, weren't they? Um... Okay... I'm like... Scanning through to see if I can... Find what I'm looking for. genuinely confused where did I read about that was it here no yeah no it wasn't so where did I read about could it have been in the other room did I even go back to the other room no so it can't be there because I don't think the game would do that that an obelisk? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Oh. Creating a single river, the Shat al Arab. Here we go. That's what it was. Two rivers merged. Two rivers, 1000 BC. I don't know if we're gonna, that's going to help us with anything. But we've got the clues we need. Okay, so let's try this. First of all, we've got 1575. Second of all, we've got 1835. Fourth of all, we've got 1926, I think. And last of all, we've got 1865 or... I'm going to try 1865. No, I'll have to start over. So that one was wrong. 1575... 1836. 
1925, actually, sorry. 1926. And then we got... 825.8? Uh, no, sorry, 2? No. What is the need by Obelisk plus Shadow Rob? The obelisk The obelisk was in eight twenty five VC or eighteen sixty five. That's the only numbers we have about the obelisk and on the obelisk itself don't say anything. Except for the things that I think that are there. Then got these pictures. I don't believe there's four of them for no reason. That point. Maybe it's because I created a single river and that's one. Maybe. Let's try that. Yes. 1575. Then we've got 1835. We've got 1926. And then we've got like 825.1. I'll start over. I get that I'll have to start over. Issue is, I don't know what you want from me. Because you say plus. What do you mean plus? Obelisk plus Sha'al Rab. No matter how I take it, this is either supposed to represent one or two, because two rivers merged. Creating a single river, a single river, or 1000 BC, they both contain one or two. So, both of them I tr I've tried. Yeah, it might be the 825 BC that's the issue. Oh, 825 plus the 1000 of Mesopotamia. It wants me to do math, not to combine them. That would be 1825, I guess. It would be the, the one in front. Maybe that's what it wants. If not, there's other eras of the Mesopotamia, Mesopotamian River that I could try, but that's when it's, that's when it was created, right? So when it formed. Um, you want me to do 1825? You don't want me to do 1825, so then what do you want me to do? Do you want me to do the date of discovery plus 1000? That's also a possibility. I don't know what exactly one, because you say obelisk. There's two dates on the obelisk. This is a very trial and error thing where you haven't given me a different hint to go off of which date. 1865 would be 2865. That's it. You want me to do the date of discovery? Let's see what secrets you have in there. I am not alone. In old times, the witch doctors treated people. They told them to stay away from the dirty places because in there lived demons too small for eyes to see. They entered the body and caused us to become ill. Today we call them microorganisms, viruses, bacteria, parasites. What was once accused as a curse of men magic is now called science. Thank you for playing my demo. It will, the secrets will remain buried. For now. They will be uncovered at some point in the future. It was a nice and short demo. 
uh, that I, s I relatively enjoyed. There are a couple of critiques I'll give, which I have been talking about, but I'll make a summary of them uh, thus far. So first of all, uh, since it's a demo, I am expecting there is more of an intro to the actual full game. Uh, that, that was my first one, where it, it kind of just plopped me into an underground cavern. I didn't understand where I was or what I was doing. A summary of something would be nice at the start, but I'm, I'm guessing that's just because it's a demo. It doesn't place you at the actual start of the game. Uh, second of all, the freezing. When, I, when the game lags and freezes, I'm not sure if that's on my end or just the game itself. Uh, on all systems would do that. I'm not sure. Again, I'm hoping it's just on my end because that makes it, you know, more okay. Thirdly, is... Okay, so the first set of puzzles in the first room, with the gun and all that, are quite clever, I like them. Uh, then we get into the second room, and, you know, there's that discrepancy of, you want me to use the phone to be able to make the code, right? But, if I use the phone and actually write those letters on the phone, right? I'd have to press the number multiple times, which made me think, oh yeah, I have to press the number multiple times. And then in, what was it? Something old, Greg, Greg old? No, um, I don't remember what the sentence was or what the thing I was supposed to write was. But essentially the code was like 47773322, right? And then there was a zero because zero is spacebar. You put a spacebar, you put a space in between the two words, they weren't connected. So technically there should have been a zero in the code as well. I was able to figure it out quite quickly, but technically it shouldn't have been like that. If you want to make a puzzle based on that mechanic of like writing on an old phone. Uh, and also this last room, as fun as it was, there was a bunch of reading that didn't amount to anything. Sure, some of it was lore, I, I understand that, and it was fun to read the lore parts. I'm not complaining about the reading part. Um, but first of all, consistency. Uh, in the six-page journey, the first four pages are written one way, and then the five, fifth and sixth are completely different. Differently written, with a different font and a different pop-up. Uh, kind of bothers me. Uh, and... Also, there is the whole obelisk plus Shat al Arab, which is you want me to take the year of when the Mesopotamian river was formed, and I mean the the two converging points into one was formed, and combine it uh, as in do math. The plus, you know, the plus you, the plus is a math symbol, but. When you're doing a puzzle game, you don't always think, oh, it's just math directly. Or you think, oh, I gotta combine these two things. And I was thinking maybe one river, maybe two river. It might be the right the date when it was formed, but I didn't, I didn't think that would fit. And then I was like, oh, maybe you want me to do math and combine the date of the obelisk with the date that the, the river was formed. Not the river, but the point at which they converged. And that was almost correct. You want me to do with you wanted me to do it with the date of discovery of the obelisk. That wasn't specified, and that's... It's not like I couldn't figure it out, but it led to a lot of trial and error where I had to repeat the previous codes a bunch of times for no real reason. This is just a, a bit of critique, right? Because I'm guessing, as a game developer, you'd like some critique. Um, however, I do praise the unique idea where you have, you know, a 3D environment with 2D kind of movement mechanics and interaction point and click right i do like that um i do like the way the game looks it's got an interesting art style it's not necessarily simplistic but it's also not necessarily realistic right it's somewhere in between where it doesn't feel like it's um, you know unfinished it feels like it's got its own style it, it, everything feels very rugged everything feels very coarse right and I, I think especially in a place like this that adds a bit to the atmosphere i like that one thing i think is kind of off are the icons the icons could use some work they don't really fit into the game they look like mobile game icons and i think uh you could definitely make some uh more thematic icons where it would be uh, rather than using all kinds of colors to represent maybe you could use like a monochrome palette like a black and white maybe or a something to make it 
less disrupting because to have bright blue and you know bright red and everything like that in this like old and decrepit environment kind of you know also ruins a bit of the uh mood the Ideally, you want the buttons to be there in case you're looking for them and you want them, but not to distract you from what you're trying to do. Eh. Anyways, it was a fun thing to play. It's a fun little demo, and I very much enjoyed it. It wasn't too difficult, the puzzles were on point, and uh, I think there could definitely be some more forms of puzzle, because I, I think they were all basically lock puzzles, where you just had to have a code... Three code puzzles are not that crazy. I think, you know, more practical puzzles could also play a role here. But, you know, that's just my opinion. You could have a game with all just code puzzles as long as you have a good enough story. Either way, I enjoyed it. And if you want to try this game for yourself, uh, either when it releases or the demo itself, the link is in the description. So go ahead and try it. Uh, thanks for suggesting this game. And other than that, I'm going to leave it here. So if you enjoyed this episode, leave it a like. Have an awesome rest of the day. And I'll see you tomorrow.